make sure that prices in the zones or things like that? Um, you just let it run? At the moment, I'm just letting the run. Yeah, so don't be doing that. You'll end up. Yeah, I'm feeling that. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. So yeah. the, way, the way it works is uh, you go through the Udemy course, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's basically everything are automated. All you need to do is, uh, so wait, wait for the price just to hit the zones. Yeah, I'll see the triggered line there. Yeah. Okay, so what, what you're you're working most of the time. So how how many hours a day do you have set for trading? Uh, let's say I I'm trying to reduce my hours so I can spend more time trading. You see. Um, with this setup, uh, I'll say to you, I'll be in front of my screen one day a week to start with. You see, one one day a week. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so one day one day a week completely can't be at the screen, can't be at the computer at all any day for at least thirty minutes. Mhm. Yeah. Okay, so what you're going to be trading is not day trading. Okay, so okay. you're going to need to be trading of the monthly and weekly, or the weekly and daily uh, mm-hmm. zones. Okay. Okay, and you're going to be taking signals. If you're trading off the monthly and weekly, you're going to be taking signals. You're going to program the map back to take signals from the daily and the 4 hour. So write, write this down. Yeah. So you're not, you're not looking at any, any, uh, so do, do me a favor here, see all these other time frames? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Delete all them and just leave monthly, weekly, and daily. So right click, right click, customize, and remove five minute all the way down to the four hour. So I'll just remove all them. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, remove the 4R, you don't need it. Okay, that's it. Okay, so go, what do you want to be doing? Yeah, put that up there. And right click. Over here? No, no, on the, on the chart. And go to settings. Or go to expert advisors. Mm-hmm. Go to properties. Okay, so scroll down. That's all, all good so far. Now you see every time you're putting on a trade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're gonna have to measure the risk for the. We'll, we'll go over this, but you're gonna have to put in the the, yeah. the risk reward for the zones and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And take profit and stop loss. Okay. okay. Close it up as a divergence. Okay. Max orders. You could two there, so yeah. you can have two if you want, but you just need to be careful of the the risk on your account. <clears throat> okay, so okay. scroll down. Yeah. A classic kind of versions type, yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, so the time frames you're going to be looking to trade on are taking signals on or the daily. So hit, hit true. The four R, and, and maybe the one R. Okay, <clears throat> hit save. Eight, yeah, make all, make sure all the number falls. Hit save. Okay, and just put it in MacBot MacBot settings. Swing trade. Okay. Yeah. Now you're gonna need to see that I save this template again. Now you're gonna have to load up. If you gotta load all your charts up again. 
Yeah, just load them up, just load. So I do, I, I have it in order. So I start off with the major US currencies first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so first off, delete, delete all your, delete all the currency pairs first. All the, all the ones you got up there. So just delete all of them. So if you scroll up, the, scroll up the top right. If you see the top right, there's a, there's a wee small X. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just do that correctly. Okay, and then start off with the US currency pairs. Yes. Uh, USD card. Yeah, just do, do them all quickly. Yeah. Should I load up three charts of each time or? No, no, you don't need to do anything. No. Just, no? just okay. put all them up first. Okay. Yeah. And scroll down and tell you which other ones. So scroll down, see if there's any more US, just all the way down. So yeah, let me see the CDS ones. Uh, that's the major ones. No, uh, no, you don't use them. We're not trading any of them. Okay, next the euro. Euro, yeah. Uh, have, you, have you put all them onto the chart or is it just one there? Oh, uh, yeah. I oh, know, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this is yours. Card. Yeah, that's okay. Next to the euro first, start off the euro ESP. How's it? How's it? No, no, we do the euro first, so we'll have it. Yeah, yeah. All the okay. Yeah, so next to euro Aussie. Euro Swiss franc. Euro CAD. Okay, next the Euro British Pound. The Euro Japanese Yen, yeah. And the Euro Kiwi. New Zealand, yeah. yeah. Next to the British Pound, start off with the British Pound pairs. British Pound. Yeah. Cable, then do the cable Aussie, the cable car, the cable franc. Scroll, scroll down. So, cable kiwi. And that will be for now. Then we'll do the start off with the Aussie pairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, the British pound. Yen, yeah, yeah. That is quite good as well. Yeah, the dragon, as it's called. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. And then. Uh, do the Aussie pairs, so Aussie, Aussie dollar, Aussie card, Aussie card, yeah. Aussie yen, Aussie kiwi, and um, Aussie Singapore dollar. You tried this one as well, yeah. Uh, for against the Australian yet, because it's made, they're two Asian two Asian currencies. Okay. So it's always good to have a look at. Mm -hmm. Especially Singapore is big, the major financial center of Asia, so it's a good one to. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, the Kiwi, Kiwi pairs. <coughs> Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi. Uh, Kiwi dollar. Kiwi card, Kiwi franc, Kiwi yen. Yes. Okay. And next, you can do the card, yen, and the card, Swiss franc. The cards, card yen. Card Swiss Frank and the card. 
Okay, that should really do it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so next is right clicking all them all them pairs. Just close that market watch. <clears throat> Just right click, template, and the last template the back watch entry. Yeah. And just do adding all them, all them there. So we'll start off whatever, whatever way, left to right or right to left. Trade the gold as well. Yeah, we have a look at everything. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> but I can't. I keep on. I keep commodities separate from currencies, so I'll have a different template saved for different. Okay. Uh, with the. With, with the MacBook, can I trade the gold as well? And yeah, as long as you do your analyst, right? So we'll, we'll just. Okay. Okay. What do you this call? You just do it for anything you want to trade stock, shares, gold, currencies. Got a question to you, but let me finish this. Go to go to the see where you go to add new chart. And go right, right, go next to it, right. Yeah, go profile. Select save profile. And just put uh, currencies. Yeah. Put in MacBook currencies. The names first. No, just did just you just did the, the profile, just do MacBot currencies. So you know okay. this, this is the Forex profile. So you're just saving a profile. Okay. I'll Forex. save all of them. Yeah, just just put in MacBot. So all you need to do that just automatically load all that whole profile. So it'll load oh, all, all okay. the MacBots. Okay. Select yeah. select currencies, MacBot currencies. So you know it's the currency, the currency. Okay, and then hit OK. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do now is we're going to go from start off in the euro, the US dollar. Yes. Right. Yes. No, US dollar, US dollar. So we'll start off the US from the US dollar. Okay. Yes, dollars the, the words reserve currency. So you want to look at those currency pairs first. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what you're going to be basically doing here, this is your, your rules, it's very simple. Okay, you're going to be looking for monthly, weekly trading zones. So if you flick on the monthly charts. Charts, okay. And just see the play button mm -hmm. at, the, at the top. Uh, yeah, beside, up, up. See where the time frame, no, 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 keep that the way it was. See where the time frames are, if you go left. Okay. Go left, 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 left. Hit play, yeah, back, 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 right, 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 right. Hit that. Uh -huh. no. Left again. Left. Yeah. yeah. Yes, okay, perfect. Okay. So we mix that on. Make sure both them are on, okay? Okay. That's, that's all. <coughs> so the simple question, the first question you ask is, is price at a monthly trading zone? Okay. So yeah. looking at that there, is price at a monthly trading zone? Just, just a second, really, because I think I've got a few lines over here. But they shouldn't be here. Yeah, those ones, you see? Yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah. this is the monthly lines, yeah? Monthly, yes. monthly trading zones. Monthly trading zones. So what do you ask yourself first? So write this down. This is your room setting when you're going to any asset. Mm -hmm. Is price at a monthly trading zone? And um, if yes, move on to the next. Just a second. Notes. So, so, can you repeat again? Well, the first question you ask when you go, you go to the monthly charts, mm -hmm. start off with the monthly, the first question you ask is, is price at a monthly trading zone? Okay. Trading zone being either a red or green box or one of the boxes. Yeah. If, it is, if it's yes, then you move on to the next question. If, it, if it's no, you move on to the next chart. So in this case, it's nearly touching. Yes, so not, yes. Yes, yeah. So we'll move on to the next question. So the next question is, is price at a weekly, is there a weekly trading zone inside the monthly trading zone? So just fix that so you can zoom in. No, you need to fix for you, yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, so then zoom it right again. So you can see price recently hit the weekly inside the monthly, which was the yeah. trade. Okay. Yeah. So if that if that's the case, so there was a weekly inside a monthly. What you want to do now is set you, you will set the MACPA to start taking look at the trades. So you'd simply right click, go to expert no expert advisors, right click. Properties. Okay. The first thing you want to go to is common. You want to be looking to short the market. So only short. Next, you go to your inputs. Okay. The inputs are going to be your lot size. How much you're willing to rip per lot. Oh, 0 0.1 per 10k in that kind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 for, uh, take profit. Now I, I don't put a take profit target in. Okay. Uh, close it up as the versions. Okay, so in this ca case, the stop loss will be close it up as the versions. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just read that. Classic, close the classic versions, yes. Okay. Next, we're going to go down, scroll down. So in this instance, you're only looking to take trades since it's a weekly instead of monthly. You're only looking to take trades of a daily and four hour signal. So scroll down. So, we'll select daily true, yeah. we'll select 4 hour true, 
and you will select and deselect one R. Okay. That's it. We don't need to see it. Just select OK. Okay. So just OK, yeah. Yeah. And just make sure the top, the top, and there's a smiley face. And then I said, all right. You don't need to do anything else. You just let the barcode uh, look for the signal. And take it through okay. the off the frames. Okay. That's okay. Good. Um, okay. So just uh, just so the bus is gonna get there. The MacBook will open a trade. If yeah, if the signal if the signal permits, the signal happens. If you look at the daily. If you look at the daily. So go to the daily chart. The signal on this happened two weeks ago. Okay. Look at the top there. See the see the signal. Yeah. This one, yeah. Yeah. The MacBook would have entered that signal for you automatically. So again, it's okay. It's still it's still, it's still in the weekly and monthly area, so we can still look for a signal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. It's no problem. Okay. So that's it then. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. You don't leave the MacBot running all the time. You only once that trade's activated mm -hmm. and it's closed, then you turn off. So you right click and go to Expert Advisors. So right click, go to Expert Advisors, go to Properties, and go to Common. Mm -hmm. so after this trade is finished, you'll put a uh, uh, live trading. Make sure that's off every time. Okay. okay. When you want the trade, when you've select seen a, a trading opportunity that you want to trade, you select mm -hmm. that live live trading. Okay. This is live trading. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. The okay. next one, then. So that's for this kind of trade. Uh, there's another. T there's another. T we always trade of two, like two time frames. Okay, so this instant we're trading of the weekly and monthly. So we're looking for weekly, weekly trading zones. So if you want to write this down. So what we're really looking for is weekly trading zones inside monthly trading zones. So that's why we identify a monthly area first. Then we scroll down into the weekly and see if there's a weekly inside the monthly. Okay, bye-bye. If that's the case, we are, we're allowed to trade. If you want to, you can zoom down into a closer look to a couple of different time frames, which you can start off on the weekly. So you can say, you can say is price inside a monthly for the first question? You can say, is price inside a weekly or at a weekly area? If yes, then you move on to the next question. Is there a daily inside a weekly? Right. So I will scan. Let's say I will scan and I will ask myself those questions for all the currencies there. Yeah? Yes. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. But just make sure you're always selecting two time frames and look for zo zones on. Mm -hmm. So and you're always looking for a lower zone inside a higher zone. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you always sense. if you're if you're going to start off in the weekly trading zones. Mm -hmm. want, the only reason you should look at the trade is if there's a daily inside the weekly. Okay. And if you're taking if you're taking a daily zone inside a weekly zone, you're gonna be you're gonna be taking signals of the four hour and one hour chart. Uh, okay. So I don't need to have the, the one hour and four hour chart open. So the no uh, no you, you just program that you don't need to even look at them. If you look at them, you'll get distracted. You just need to keep. These, these, are, these are the charts we're going to be looking at, taking the trades from. Oh, okay. the, uh, they're only the signal, they're only the signal time frames. But one, point, one thing to point out, if you're trading the daily mm -hmm. instead of the weekly, you're going to have to kind of be looking at the charts every every day for at least 30 minutes. Okay. And it's going to have to be looking for areas where to get out of the market and except in that there, things will move pretty fast in the time frame. Whereas the weekly, taken into the monthly, you have time. You can look at it once a week if you want. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So even, even looking, let's say, even doing a string trading for all the currencies, I'm going to be pretty much very busy indeed. And that, that is good for me. I like yeah. to keep myself busy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so all you need to do, so all you need to do, like every week, every Sunday, 
or whenever you've got a spare R, it's just going to the charts. So you start off from the currency. So we'll, we'll, do, it, we'll do it together. We'll do it here now. So start, we've done the Swiss franc. Yeah. So now we'll do the next currency pair. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay just make sure that we green button top when we've done before. Yeah, is there? Just move all them other lines that shouldn't be there. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to, I think this is, I was trying to do some kind of analysis of the prices. This line. Okay. Uh, so the price, it's, uh, has been on the, on the monthly zone. Yeah, we don't need to complicate it. Is price at the monthly area? Uh, no, it's, it's going there, but it's not. Not quite there yet. So in that case, then you can you can go down to the weekly and see if there's any trade opportunities with the weekly. Okay. So is price in a weekly zone? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Okay. Next, if it is, the next question you got is there a daily inside the weekly? Yes, it's there. Okay. So next, you can start to look, look for trades. So you program. So what you want to do now is measure from measure the distance of the box. So it's around 80, say plus 100 pips. Okay. Yeah. So you want to 20 pips above it. So that's going to be your stop loss. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Okay, you just want to put your stop level above, above the daily, okay? Okay. Um, your take profit, well, we'll do, this, you just, you, we'll do that right here, but your stop loss, your ultimate get out is going to be up there above that box, and then you can re-enter again the monthly zone, so, okay? So that's your stop loss for this trade, 100 pips, okay? So what you want to do now is go to the map button, right click. Oh, I don't know when. The expert advisors. Properties go to you're only looking to short the market. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> short market okay, yeah. okay, so remember your stop loss. Stop loss yeah, leave that. You, you, you'll play that, you'll know, you'll kind of know. Okay, no, go, just scroll, no, go scroll down. Okay, I see. Okay, so time frames are going to be. The, turn the daily off. Daily off. Yeah. Four, four hours and one hour, yeah? Four hours and one hour, correct. So just make sure the daily is false. Okay, the daily is false. Okay. Make sure you write these down in your book. Do you make sure the daily was false there or was it true? Daily is false. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah. just make sure you're writing these down. Make sure you write, write them. You have a trade book beside you or an or a Excel file. Mm -hmm. and write down each trade. So the first trade is the USD Swiss franc, and you're trading from the weekly inside the monthly. Okay. So you need you need to detect that trade at the end of the week. Okay. Right, so write down, but write, write. You need to write down, so if it's a weekly instead of monthly, you need to look at the check, check that trade at the end of the week or every few days, okay? If yeah. you're trading uh, daily inside the weekly, you need to be checking it, kind of, like, just have a quick glance at it every, every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so write down, write down which type of trade you're trading each day. Yeah, okay. And make sure you know that beside each trade. Okay, fair enough, yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Pretty simple, yeah? <laughs> yeah very, very simple indeed. Thank you very much. I really like that. <laughs> Not too much complicated. Um, okay, so I think the other set taps is going to be near the zone. next one, so we've, we've identified this trade opportunity we move on to the next currency. Yeah. So that's monthly. Just two seconds, removing these those ones. So okay, the price is nearly on monthly. Yes, sorry, we'll cut off this. 
so make sure you hit the week. Make sure you play the wee green button. Yeah, he's done that. Yeah. So the first question is. Yes, the person's touching on the week is on there. So. Was it? Was it? Was it what, did you do the monthly first? Yeah, I done the monthly nearly there, and then there. Yeah. Okay, so we're at a weekly, at a monthly. Okay, so we're good to go. So, clearly, yeah. So, I'll be shorting the market over here. Yeah. So, I'm coming to expert advisors, uh, common only shorting markets, inputs. I forgot to measure the. It's okay, no, it's okay for swing trades because you'll have time to analyze. Okay. Uh, so for once, you have to watch every two days, at least you have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to take signs from four hours. And the DLA. Daily is going to be false. Right? No, daily is true. Daily is true. Ah, sorry. Daily is true. We're in the weekly, we're in the weekly and say the monthly. The one hour is false. Make sure you turn, on the, turn off the one hour. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So only daily in four hours. Yeah. Okay, then. So this one is ready to go then. Yeah, that's ready to go. Just make sure you're taking a note again. Okay, bye bye, yeah. brother. Okay, okay. okay. So I'm going to move to the next one. Yeah. Euro USD. Yeah. Euro USD. Yeah. This one there. Yeah. The weekly book again. Okay, the monthly is far away. Okay, so the monthly. Yeah, so next week, is there a weekly? Is the price near a weekly? No, it's not. No. So this is not a trading opportunity for me at the moment. Yeah. So I'll pass to the next one. Yeah. So on this one, monthly. <coughs> Monthly is far away. Weekly is little touching. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that's good. So next we can go look at a. Is there a daily zone approaching? Yeah, it's too far away. Well, I, 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 it's not that far away because I'm starting to look, probably start to look for a signal. Yeah. So on this case, should I? Which has a, a buy uh, long, um, yeah, going long. Yeah, going long. So you look for. So just go to go to. Yeah, you look to go long. Learns inputs. Classic, classic. And then I'm just going to take the daily, make sure the daily is false. Only daily and four hours. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. This is a, a daily inside a weekly. So it's yeah, sorry. Yeah. one hour and four hour. Daily inside a weekly. Okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Ready to go. And then move to the next one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, so it's still a little bit. No, sorry, it's this one. Why not? Monthly, it says in the middle. Yeah, so no. Hello. Uh, 
but it's going to be something like 300 pips. This is going to be quite a big move once it sets for trade line. Yeah. So I will expect the, the, the price to get somewhere there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we're looking for, yeah. So. Um, just, just wanna... This is quite a big trade set now. Oh, yeah. Thousand. Thousand. Okay, so right click. So stop loss. So right click and then set up a, your comment. It's a buy trade, long. Yeah. Three hundred pips and uh, about here it's gonna be. Uh, so what? Not daily. Okay, I make sure that this this one. I'm gonna do you a favor. Keep the daily one on also. Daily hours one hour. Okay. Then okay, so just keep the daily trade. Yeah, ball and trade. Then okay. <coughs> awesome. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah. Okay, let's say it's pretty, this is a pretty, pretty you know, not much work involved, but it's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty simple. No, no, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, but um, yeah, there is a little bit of food to think about it. But yeah, I yeah. understand. It's really simple. Once you get the once once you get the hang of it, man, it's it's just boom, boom, boom. You just ask them questions. Yes or no, then yeah. you just set them, set them, forget. Okay. Okay, and uh, what about this? Is for the swing trading, yeah? That's one weekly and um, uh, weekly, monthly, yeah. or monthly, weekly. Yeah, let's say for the day trading, um, it's gonna be nearly the same. So British mind, yeah. should. should should I open the charts again and set up, let's say, a profile? On um, the connections breaking up. Oh, okay. Uh, let's say for daily, daily setups. Yeah, daily setups. Um, and okay, course, can you repeat that? The, the connection cut off there. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah? Will, can you hear me? Well, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, what I'm asking is for the no, daily setup. No, cut it off again. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the daily setups, how. Do I need to set up a new profile as well? Yeah. What do you mean for daily? No, no, for daily setups. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what What do you mean? Daily setups. You just if, what 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 do you mean? Day trading. Yeah, day trading. Yeah, sorry, day trading. Yeah. Oh, well, do, do you have Do you have the time to be at the screen? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'll have time to look at the, the, the screen. Because, okay. Well, it's pretty simple. It's just, uh, what, what for daily setups, you want to be looking for four hour, four hour zones inside daily zones. Okay. Um, do I need to say, no, just, you just change the time frames. Um, okay. okay. So, for, for the minute, yeah, just leave that for a minute. Just let's do this first. You're trying to run before you can walk. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so again, British Pound USD. We start off in the monthly. Yeah. Okay, monthly. Okay. Yeah. Monthly. Uh, Hit the wee green button. Green button, but British, uh, this this currency those days, I'm I'm a little bit scared of them because of the news. 
Yeah, the, the way, what happens with currency, you see the news? It's, it all comes out late. Okay? Yeah. Big institutions, big players are uh-huh. positioning themselves in the market before uh-huh. the news they ever happened. Which is, looking at price action now in the British pound USD, is the position of themselves in the market. Okay. I see. Okay. See the news, whatever your news releases, websites, that's all old. Yeah. Okay, the market's already the market's already played in played that in the months before. Okay. What's happened now in the price action is basically <coughs> Yeah. Because because of that, it's a um, forex factor. Yeah, forex factor. Yeah. If you see the news, so you're saying that news there. But that third, yeah, that, that, that can move the markets into the speech, but see all the, the GDP, stuff like that there, it's all determined in the, it's all determined month ahead, the trade in the news. Okay, okay. Sell the river by, by the news. Uh, okay. Heard that saying. So, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be worried about the news then, yeah? No, I'm not going to be trading this, okay? So all you need to worry about is in one of these areas. So first question you ask, are you in a monthly trading zone? Yes, you're coming into a monthly trading zone. Yes, yes I am. Next, so, weekly. Weekly. If you're day trading and that news, yes, certainly that news will come affect. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's, but if you're swing trading like this here, these higher time frame zones, mm-hmm. these higher time frame zones are where the market's going to turn. So trade into that, and then the news will come out, and it's likely to allow the liquidity to actually move from that zone. Okay, I see. I see. That's so that's This, so you're at a monthly, you're at a weekly. Yes, you can start to look for trades. You're at a daily yes. also. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so, if you go to the weekly. I would measure, see that zone, I would measure that weekly zone. This one over here? Yeah, I'll just measure that. So what have you got? You've got uh, 220 pip, okay? Yeah, right click. Stop loss. Go long, go long, yeah. Input stop loss, 220 pips. And just leave it, just leave all them time frames, okay? Yeah. Daily. Okay, just leave them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So move to the next one then, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Monthly first. Yeah. Monthly. It's coming to a monthly. monthly. That's pretty far off. If you just measure that, it's like three, four hundred pips out. Whoa. It's Six hundred pips off. Yes, okay. Yeah, so weekly. Okay, it's going towards a weekly. So it's a yes. So yes. is there a daily inside a weekly? Yes. Yes. Uh, just measure the daily zone. You measure the daily weekly. So. A hundred. hundred and twenty pips, okay? Yeah, I need to just check the weekly. Uh, so, oops, okay. Um, let's say the 200 pips. I think that's pretty much the same. 200? Yes, 200. So, I'm going long. Yeah, looking for long opportunities. Okay. Of course, 200. Yeah. And, uh, on this one, I'm gonna leave them all open through. Yeah, leave them all open, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll move to the next one then. Okay. Okay. Then, simple, right, right, take a note of what trades you've taken. Just make sure, because there's a lot of trades you've taken here. If you're not writing it down, you'll get confused what's, which trades are open and which trades are not. Uh, look, um, I'll say to you, this is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Forget about this. This is just me planning ahead. Okay. But this is this is the profits that I made it in those three days. You see? Yeah. This is the total. Yeah. I was I was taking let's say measuring the profits, yeah. It came to this value over here. And I left the robot trading for three days in a row. Just without yeah. thinking too much. Just on the Friday, on the Friday, yeah, just at the last time, yeah, you made a loss of nearly 200. And I said, okay, but even that, I'm still in profits, nearly 300 pounds, you see? And that is yeah. just start, starting an account of thousands, yeah? So, uh, let's say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. I will create uh, a table following all the the currencies. Yeah, I, I can just use a the website for my trades that I've got, and I'll type in an Excel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bring back to this one. So we'll just go on, on to the next. Yeah. We'll go on to the next one. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. Still far away. So I'll say to you. Oh, I'll not trade on this one. Yeah. Okay, next, next, next pair. Next pair. Uh, this pair, according to my experience, moves a little bit as a GBP USD. So that's my opinion. And uh, they move sideways. Yeah, the Swiss franc pairs that they move, they are they're what you call a range bound asset. So mm -hmm. if you look at all them from the monthly, yeah. the monthly, and if you look at any other uh, for the past few years, USD, Swiss franc, Euro, Swiss franc, Aussie, Swiss franc, they, they've all been moving in a range by market since 2015. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah. This one here, your monthly, yes? Monthly, there is a trading opportunity there. Yeah, you're inside a monthly. Yeah. So it's the first question, yes? Yes. Weekly is coming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So should I set up for long? Yeah. Going to the long positions. Yeah. Then um, I think measure the stop loss on this one. Should I? Put the stop loss and not really. Wait a second. Because this is a big stop loss. This is nearly a thousand pips. Yeah. Thousand pips stop loss. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, What can I put in stop loss? Just gonna leave it. Yeah, are you there? 